Hello and welcome to another video of machine learning do it yourself tutorials. In the last video, we understood naive Bayes theorem and have downloaded the data, YouTube data set, and we were able to project a word cloud. Now let's move on and create a DTM spread matrix, parsement matrix. So we have done all the steps till here and now we are going to do a DTM sparse matrix which is nothing but a cross table of all the words and the frequency of these words in each line. So let's do that. Create a DTM spar matrix, install a package, snowball, Z and load library. Let's create a document DTM parse matrix. There you go. Let's see the matrix. Now let's split the data in training and test data. 75% of the data, close to 75% of the data, that means the first 1500 records I'm going to use as training data, and the remaining 456 records out of 1956 records will be used for testing. Now let's create the labels using the class vector from class factor from the raw data. Please note that while creating the training and test data set, I have used the document term matrix, the DTM sparse matrix. And while creating the labels, I have used the first variable where we had got the data directly from the CSV. Let's see in the training and test data set how our class ham or spam are dispersed or distributed. Distribution is fairly even. This makes it a good data to start with. Next step is we want to find out the lines where the number of top frequent words are appearing. So what I mean to say is that we don't want to consider those lines where the most frequent words are not there. If it is one off occurrence, we probably want to ignore that text or ignore that comments from our consideration. So let's find out all the words which have at least 10 occurrences in the data set, which means at least 10 times they have appeared in any comment in the list of comments which we have so YouTube DTM 10 will have all the DTM training matrix or training words which has at least 10 occurrences Let's see this. Now let's use our train and test data and filter only those records which has these frequent 
words frequent occurring terms this is a method of filtration wherein it would have all the lines of comments having these frequent words let's take a look as noted here you have the frequency of words 25 times 22 times 40 times 44 times we don't we are not interested in the number of times the words are repeated but now we want to see if the word is there or not just a plain boolean yes or no so let's convert these occurrences the number of occurrences to yes or no yes if the value is more than 0 that means at least 1 and no if it is zero so i'm going to create a function count boolean count to boolean and then i'm going to pass the training and the test data in this function this is going to convert this data set the training and the test data set into yes or no. Now let's apply the naive base theorem. To apply the theorem, you would have to download or install the package E107071. I have already done that. This statement is to apply the Bayes theorem. This is the training and this is the train label. And this is the predictor on this model using the test data set. Let's see the effectiveness of this prediction. Let's use the library B model and this is going to give us a cross table. This is the YouTube actual. If it's a spam or not, and this is the predicted value. You could see that our model was able to predict 190 correct ham values and 16 were wrong because the actual was 1 and it predicted 0. Here, in the one cases for prediction, it made 15 wrong predictions with 135 correct predictions. Now let's improve this prediction with Laplace, Laplace estimator in the next video. Please note that this script is available on the Google Drive link mentioned in the description section of this video. Thank you for watching.